My name is Ken Hoagland. I live in Spanish Fork, Utah, and I am an overlander. I bought my truck in 2015 with the, the end goal to explore the, the back country of Utah and to photograph the beauty that Utah has. I've explored a lot of different products. I've been able to get out there, test the products, and just really see what works. So when I'm preparing for an overland trip, I try to think of who's coming with me. How many kids do I have? How much food do I need? I will make sure that I have all of the utensils, all of the cooking supplies, all the spices, and then I'll go to the store and pick up all the meats and ingredients that I need for cooking. One thing about having a short bed truck is being able to use all the vertical space. I have my water up here, I have my drawers down here, and everything is so that I could use the full space of the bed. The drawers are essential in keeping all of my recovery gear and all of my eating utensils and ingredients and everything that I need, I keep in the drawers. I try to maximize my space and the DECT allows me to do that. For anything food related, I actually put in the DECT D-bag. That allows me to keep everything sealed, anything utensils, you know, spatula, I keep all of that in the D-bag. Anything that needs to be refrigerated, I take my refrigerator with me. I have both a freezer and a refrigerator. Water storage, I keep water in my fridge. And then I also keep in my water port here the, the water I need to, in order to wash dishes or to kind of cool down. My truck is a bit of a Tetris game. Everything has its spots. So the bins that I use for washing dishes are, are just here in those little side cubbies. Everything in the, in the back of my truck is powered through the Dometic DC plug, and that's hardwired into my battery. Now inside the cab, in order to charge anything phone related or camera related, I take a large battery with me. Sleeping in my overland setup is a bit of a luxury as well. Above me is my tent and it just pops straight up. It makes for a great bed for one or two adults. Throw in four kids and it gets a little tight, but that's what I do, it's, it's fun. One thing that I try to take into consideration is what I might come across on the trail. I never really know, so I try to be prepared to get myself out. One thing I definitely recommend for off-roading is a tire repair kit. It comes in super good handy. Other than here, I have a toe strap, I have a snatch rope, and I have a tree hugger. Everything I need to set up for self-recovery and recovering other vehicles. I have my traction boards, I have my self-recovery, but I also have one of the toolboxes just filled with tools so that if I come across something that needs to be fixed or tightened, I have all the tools with me here in the deck. It's really helped me focus on the things that I need to take on every trip. I used to take in bins and throw them in the back of the truck and this just eliminates those bins and the needs for bins and just keeps everything in its spot. And then on top, I just keep what's needed quickly. I keep the chairs, I keep the stove, and I keep the fridge. One thing about overlanding is getting off grid, getting away from everyone and getting far out there where, where you're far away from any city. You need good tires, you don't wanna have any tire issues, but once you have good tires, just go, go explore. You'll see what you need, you'll see what you need for future trips, and you'll see what fits your needs. I've built this rig for me and my family, but you don't need all of this. What you need is adventure, and you just need that first step to get out. There's a lot of resources on the internet as far as overlanding and what you need to take. One of my favorites, being a Tacoma owner, is TacomaBeast.com. There's Overland Bound, there's Overland YouTube videos, and go on the internet and find a plethora of information available uh, for any sort of need that you might have. If you're anything like my other half, you'll try and take everything by the kitchen sink on every camping trip. And there's been times where we've needed just that, a kitchen sink. Well now, you can have just that. ARB's Slide Kitchen. Having the slide out kitchen fitted to the back of your vehicle will make packing easier and cooking a little more gourmet. It's 1250mm long with a full stainless steel bench, utensils drawer and the best bit, a swing away three burner with a spot for you guessed it, the kitchen sink. The slide kitchen is currently available in a 1355mm length drawer. It's designed to suit all dual cabs and we can do custom installs for troopies, trailers and campers. As for the specs, well the stove has your standard bayonet fitting on the back and gives six kilowatts of cooking power. The bigger high-speed burner can hold your average medium-sized pans, and the two smaller burners are good for smaller pans. The kitchen-grade stainless has been sunken to act as a wind protector, but if the wind were to blow out your flame, the stove has flame-out technology, so it will automatically cut the gas. Same with the glass lid, close it, and it will instantly kill the gas. As for that kitchen sink, you can store it in the drawer because of its collapsible silicon, and when it's not being used as a sink, it can double as a drying rack. It has a decent sized drawer to fit all your cooking gear, 
and it wouldn't be a full home away from home kitchen if you didn't have all this space to prep. The beauty of this unit is its versatility, along with how well it integrates with other ARB products. The slide kitchen opens to the left, so when you pull over, it's away from the road. It's one of those designs that you can use the whole kit or just keep it simple. Doing a full feast for the family, the complete setup would be the way to go. Or if you're on the fishing trip and need a filleting bench or space to prep some lunch, you can just pull out the bench. Not bad, in 30 seconds, you've got yourself a freestanding kitchen. On this setup, we've gone with a 60 litre elements fridge on top of a full height ARB drawer, which has been used as our pantry. And when the kitchen is fully set up, you still have access to the fridge. That's the other thing. If you've already got ARB modular drawers, you can replace an existing one with the kitchen or order the complete setup. And for those trips where you don't need the slide kitchen, you can swap out the slide for an accessory drawer to give you more storage space. So next time you're in a rush to get food started and dread having to pull the car apart to pull a table and stove out, you might want to consider the ARB Slide Kitchen. For more info and a closer look at setups like this, visit your local ARB store. We love getting out and exploring the great outdoors with our four boys. Here in California, there's a lot to see, from the beaches to the mountains and the cities, even the desert. So Bed Slide helps us get our truck packed for adventure. To protect all our gear from the elements like snow, rain, and excessive sun, we put on a snug top. With our model, you can open the windows, but it's still difficult to get in there unless you're seven feet tall. This is where bed slide really comes in handy. Bedslide's latch system is also one of the safest on the market. The great thing about Bedslide is they fit all trucks and they have a weight capacity that goes all the way up to 2,000 pounds. This is how we pack our Bedslide for adventure. First, camp gear. Then, the off-road rescue gear. Chains and tools. Of course, our giant adventure fridge from Snowmaster. Finally, our luggage, stroller, and rooftop tent ladder. Bed Slide is made right here in the United States, up in Medford, Oregon, and they have a lifetime warranty when registered within 30 days of purchase. And the view is better with bed slide. Hey everyone, Ross Roberts here with Truck Vaults and we just wanted to give you a walkthrough of our base Camp 5. Some of the main features about our BC5 product is our in-drawer secure storage drawer, our on-top sleeping platform, our cabinetry, and our pull-out kitchen. So on our kitchen drawer, you can see that it comes with a couple different features. It has a bamboo cutting surface on top, it offers two utensil drawers. You can put spices, 
utensils, just different small things that you would usually put in the kitchen. It also has a dedicated space for your stove. Here, this is designed to fit a Coleman two burner stove, but really this can fit a variety of two burner stoves that you might have. The whole kitchen is built on a glide platform, so it allows you to double lock it as it pulls out. So if you're sitting on a hill, uh, this kitchen drawer is not gonna be pushing in. It's gonna lock into place. On top of the pullout kitchen, we have a dedicated space for shelving. You can store a lot of miscellaneous camping items such as your small coolers, fans, and books, and anything else you would take with you on the road. Moving over here to the bed platform, it's a removable bed platform so that if you needed to store extra large items within the bed, you can take this entire section out and you can put large coolers, kennels, bikes, anything that you need to have um, extra height for. This is a great option to be able to remove this and still have your, your sleeping platform when you put this back in. So on top, you can put a mattress. It's a great spot to be able to sleep for, for one person. Um, we have other options that if you wanted to sleep two different people, you can look at our other options. Additionally, there's some space underneath this bed platform to store some other items. Moving on to our secure drawer feature. This drawer is a short drawer. If you have some essential belongings that are highly valuable to you, it's a great little option to be able to throw those items in there, lock it up and make sure it's safe when you're living out on the road. Thanks guys for listening in on this product overview. And if you're interested or have additional questions, please reach out to our product support team. They'd be happy to help. Thanks guys. Hey guys, Zach Mayfield here, and this is my 2009 Toyota Tacoma. One of my favorite pieces of equipment on there is the bed slide. Just allows me to reach in and pull everything out to give me access. Um, I normally have to climb in and try to pull out from behind a bunch of different other stuff, and um, it just makes my life super easy. In the bins, I keep recovery straps, uh, shackles, and in the other one, I keep my flashlights and knives and everything that I would want easy access to, but to keep nice and organized. If you're looking for an easy way to access everything in the back of your truck, I'd highly recommend getting the bed slide. Hey guys, Josh with DZ Manufacturing and I'm standing in front of our Work Ready Adventure Ready Silverado. This thing's been all over the country. We're abusing it on and off trail to see exactly how these products would be used for your adventures. One of the things I'm excited to show you today is our underseat storage drawer system. The idea really came from the fact that there's a lot of good products on the market for storage under seat, but all of them have one thing in common. You have to lift the seat to access any of the gear. Well, in my case, with two car seats and three kids, that's next to impossible. So we've developed the drawer system. A full length slide out drawer system. And when I say full length, it goes from side to side and you can access it from either side. So you can put a full size rifle, shotgun, or any of those gear for your adventure or for your daily job site. It comes with a formed rubberized mat to reduce vibrations and noises in there. And then it's got preset locations for a divider kit that you can buy in the future. All steel construction, lockable again, so it's nice and secure for that job site or for after a hunt. No drill installation. We have applications for 15 to current F-150, new body style Super Duty, 
and New Body South Silverado with more to come. Go to DZ.com and check it out for yourself today.